Good Thursday morning to you, my friends, and welcome on this lovely Thursday as we come together for a morning prayer. Our morning prayer service this morning is from the Book of Alternative Services, and my name is Reverend Nancy Merch, and I'm grateful that you've taken time this morning to pray with me. If you have your service book, our service begins on page 45. If you don't have your service book, you can go to our parish website, www.stmarythevirgin.ca, and find a service there to follow along with. As we prepare to worship Almighty God, let us just take a moment to still our hearts and minds as we come before his awesome presence. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. My dear friends in Christ, as we prepare to worship Almighty God, let us with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. We pray together, Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all of your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we continue. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is our light and our life. O come, let us worship. And let us join our voices together now for the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship. Our first reading and our proclamation of God's word today is a continuation of our journey through the first book of Kings, chapter 22, beginning to read at 20, verse 29. So the king of Israel and king Jehoshaphat of Judah went up to Ramoth Gilead. The king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, I will disguise myself and go into battle, but you wear your robes. So the king of Israel disguised himself and went into battle. Now the king of Aram had commanded the 32 captains of his chariots, fight with no one small or great, but only with the king of Israel. When the captains of the chariots saw Jehoshaphat, they said, It is surely the king of Israel. So they turned to fight against him, and Jehoshaphat cried out. When the captains of the chariots saw that it was not the king of Israel, they turned back from pursuing him. But a certain man drew his bow and unknowingly struck the king of Israel between the scale armor and the breastplate. So he said to the driver of his chariot, Turn around and carry me out of the battle, for I am wounded. The battle grew hot that day, and the king was propped up in his chariot, facing the Arameans, until at evening he died. The blood from the wound had flowed into the bottom of the chariot. Then about sunset a shout went through the army, Every man to his city, and every man to his country. So the king died and was brought to Samaria. 
they buried the king in Samaria. They washed the chariot by the pool of Samaria. The dogs licked up his blood, and the prostitutes washed themselves in it, according to the word of the Lord that he had spoken. Now the rest of the acts of Ahab, and all that he did, and the ivory house that he built, and all the cities that he built, are they not written about in the book of the annals of the king of Israel? So Ahab slept with his ancestors, and his son Ahaziah succeeded him. Jehoshaphat, son of Asa, began to reign over Judah in the fourth year of King Ahab of Israel. Jehoshaphat was thirty-five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned for twenty-five years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Azubah, daughter of Shehi. He walked in of all the way of his father Asa. He did not turn aside from it, doing what was right in the sight of the Lord. Yet the high places were not taken away, and the people still sacrificed and offered incense on the high places. Jehoshaphat also made peace with the king of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm this morning is Psalm number 74, beginning on page 801 in your book of alternative services, if you'd like to follow along. Psalm 74. O oh God, why have you utterly cast us off? Why is your wrath so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation that you purchased long ago, the tribe you redeemed to be your inheritance, and Mount Zion where you dwell? Turn your steps toward the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste everything in your sanctuary. Your adversaries roared in your holy place. They set up their banners as tokens of victory. They were like men coming up with axes to a grove of trees. They broke down all your carved works with hatchets and hammers. They set fire to your holy place. They defiled the dwelling place of your name and raised it to the ground. They said to themselves, Let us destroy them altogether. They burned down all the meeting places of God in the land. There are no signs for us to see. There is no prophet left. There is not one among, one among us who knows how long. How long, O oh God, will the adversary scoff? Will the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you draw back your hand? Why is your right hand hidden in your bosom? Yet God is my king from ancient times, victorious in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might and shattered the heads of the dragons upon the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan, and gave him to the people of the desert for food. You split open spring and torrent. You dried up ever-flowing rivers. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember, O Lord, how the enemy scoffed, how a foolish people despised your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Never forget the lives of your poor. Look upon your covenant. The dark places of the earth are haunts of violence. Let not the oppressed turn away ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, maintain your cause. And remember how fools revile you all day long. Forget not the clamor of your adversaries, the unending tumult of those who rise up against you. O God, when violence threatens and destruction seems at hand, help us to remember that you maintain your cause and still rule your universe. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And our second reading this morning, a continuation of John's Gospel, chapter 12, beginning to read at verse 27. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. 
Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our service continues now with our affirmation of faith through the words of Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. For our prayers this morning, I'm using a prayer from a We Worship book, the prayers from Morning Liturgy D. Let us pray. Let us pray for those who may be born today and bless them in Jesus' name. The joy of God shine from your face and joy to all who see you. The shield of God surround your head and angels ever guard you. May every season be good for you and the Son of Mary give peace to you. Let us pray for those who must work today and bless them in Jesus' name. God bless to you today the earth beneath your feet, the path on which you tread, the work of hand and mind, the things which you desire. And when the day is over, God bless to you your rest. Let us pray for those who must travel today and bless them in Jesus' name. May the keeping of Christ be round you. May the guarding of God be with you to possess you, to protect you from danger and from loss. May the gospel of the God of grace bless you from head to soul. May the gospel of the King of heaven be wrapped around your body. Let us pray for those who may face death today and bless them in Jesus' name. May God provide for you all that is needed for body, mind, and soul as you face the final journey. May Christ take your soul in his arms and bring you through the balancing time to the dwelling place of peace and make it your home forever. And let us pray for ourselves. Enable us, great God, to pass this day as pass the saints in heaven to keep this day as keep the people of heaven, to spend this day as spend the household of heaven, and love this day which you have perfected. Amen. And now as our Savior has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace this day and forevermore. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for beginning your day with me in this new way of prayer. Uh, I still feel God's presence every time I sit down in front of the computer to record this, and hopefully you feel the same. So, my friends, until next time, be safe, and from where you are, go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.